Hi, this is Becky here. Really, I'm here talking to you today about chromatography. Chromatography is a method of separating um, a mixture. So we've been recently talking about mixture separation and how mixtures can be separated um, using physical means. Chromatography is a way to separate a mixture um, based on the way the components of that mixture travel through another substance at a different rate. So the mixture that we're going to be separating today is the mixture in black ink. Now black, black ink is composed of many different colored dyes. What I've done is I've taken this piece of filter paper and I found the center point and I drew a circle around that center point. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this piece of filter paper into a beaker where there's a, a tiny amount of water at the bottom. Now when I put this in the water, the water is going to be absorbed up through the filter paper and through a capillary action because the filter paper is made of small porous materials through capillary action, the, the water will make its way up until it eventually interacts with the ink. Now, different components in the ink have uh, different affinities for water or um, a likeness, I guess. So some of the, the ink colors will like water more than others and the ones that like the water the most will travel the farthest with the water. So the ones that um, have more of an affinity for the paper rather than the water will stay behind and stick to the paper. So um, when you do this you have to put it, this beaker is kind of big, so you can see I'll have to hold it really still. Oh, my finger's cramping up. Let me try this again. I was weed whacking this weekend and my hands are really sensitive. So, um, as the water is creeping up, it has interacted with the ink and you can begin to see some color separation. So again, uh, chromatography is a method of separating of a mixture based on how the components of that mixture travel at different rates. Now as this is traveling, you can see that the blues are kind of leading the way and moving along, the water is creeping up and carrying the dyes along with it, separating out into individual colors. So I'm just going to let it keep going for a little bit, a little bit longer. I have not used the skinny marker before, so I'm not really sure what kind of end product it's going to show. I can say that so far I don't particularly feel that impressed, but let's just wait and give it a see. This is really not comfortable sitting here like this, but doing it for you guys, doing it for my students, making the ultimate sacrifice. At eight o'clock at night, when all of you have already made it home, unless you're here studying or practicing for one of the many events students are involved in. Now I'm just making small talk as I am waiting for this thing to keep going. All right, let us open this up and see the results of this chromatography. So what you can see here is that it seems like the blue dye really had the strongest affinity for the water and it traveled the farthest with the water. In the middle you see some pinks and oranges, orange in particular, which have the least affinity for the water and more of an affinity for the paper, so it didn't travel quite as far. So as you can see, 
the colors have been separated. Again, this is a method called chromatography. And it may or may not surprise you, but this is a method that can sometimes be used to identify unknown inks, like in criminal forensics with ransom letters, or uh, I'm just you know, trying to think of like other applications of this, investigations where um, somebody signed something on a piece of paper and they're trying to, to link it back to an ink or to see if something's been forged. So chromatography is a method for doing that and it is used in real life. Um, there are machines that are called gas chromatographs and uh, infrared gas chromatographs um, in lab settings um, that work on the same basic principles. Um, DNA um, DNA electrophoresis is one that you may have learned about in if you've taken a genetics class or biotechnology class. Um, it's a very similar concept in which uh, the different fragments of DNA move along a gel at a certain rate. So your smaller fragments move faster and your bigger fragments get left behind um, and you end up with an array of things left behind on this gel. So just like the colors are left behind here, um, the ones that didn't like the water are left behind um, compared to the ones that really did like the water travel a little bit further with it. So um, that's all I'm going to say about chromatography. This is um, what we did in class if you ended up missing our activity. So um, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in your next one. Bye.